Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya Yes, what's up, what's up my people? So my name is Isaac Kagecha or you can call me Hype Kags or MC Aizo. Uh, those are my stage names. So uh, I'm a professional choreographer, uh, I'm a dancer, I'm also an MC, a hype man and uh, yeah, that is what I basically do. Those are my strengths, those are my passions and uh, those are the things that I do with uh, uh, the whole of my heart wholeheartedly and uh, yeah I, I, I just love what I do I think for me dance is everything uh, uh, knowing that I have so many gifts I have so many strengths but I decided that dance is life to me dance is in my blood uh, when I wake up when I walk I'm always thinking about dance and music because they go hand in hand so uh, Karibuni sana to this uh, amazing uh, video here as I get to tell my story and uh, my life about dance. When did I start dance? Uh, when I was in class three, uh, it's a very interesting story. When I was in class three, uh, we went to uh, showground, the, uh, the the Nakuru showground that happens between June and July. So I was with my two sisters. Uh, I was small, Nilikom Dogo. So it reached a point where we had this. Uh, Coca-Cola uh, a stall that was doing a show, a competition, and uh, they were doing a dance competition. So they asked the kids who are there to just come to the front and just bust a move, uh, just show us what you got. So uh, my sister was like, Tokia, Tokia Pale, uh, just go and shine. Because before that, we used to practice Kwanyumba and uh, uh, just do a few moves uh, for, for the oldies, who will be watching this i don't know if you remember there is that uh cuckoo style there was helicopter and all that so we used to practice and then on that specific day the mc pointed at me and he was like wewe kuja so i went there with the experience i have and i'm i'm i'm, I'm in class three uh, i can't tell which uh, age i was in but uh nilikuwa class three and he called me to the front uh, Palekwa stage and he was like now show us what you've got and we were like three or four kids and I did my thing I remember the one style that I did so well was the helicopter style and it was a killer show at that time so the prize at that time was our one liter soda ya coca-cola and that was everything to me it was like mama I made it yani it was just a big gift to me but more so I think one thing I remember uh, uh, when I just continued uh, growing up is the the way people appreciated me the way they just cheered I was like okay Kumbe I can dance well I think from there I just picked it up and uh, it became just part of just part of me uh, and uh, I think my confirmation came from my friends my family and uh, people around me they were like hey you guy you can dance so well like you have these techniques you have these moves that Nizako, as in people, people can dance like this, but you have a certain way you dance that is so nice. So I think uh, in a good way, it got into my head and I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. 
this is what I'm going to focus on. But I always appreciate my sister. She's called Harriet. She pushed me. I think she was uh, after my mom. My mom used to dance in high school, and then ikakuja to uh, our our firstborn, uh, the first girl, akanifunza, and then. Here I am. I think I just carried it all and I'm doing it uh, up to now. Uh, it's just in me. I, I think there are no better words to explain, but it's just in me. It's something that I can't... Uh, I wouldn't say I can't live without. You definitely need God, but it's just part of my life. And uh, I think it's something Pia I can use or I still use to minister and just uh, bring young people together and do something common and just minister to people and tell people Christianity is not boring. It's amazing and you can bring your gifts here and just praise God with it. So I think dance is my, is, is my stronghold and I think I've come to know it's just one of the best gifts I have ever had. Honestly, I'm not a fan of salsa. Uh, I love Afrobeat. Afrobeat Lingala Seben. Oh God, if you play such type of music, I just go crazy. I don't know what is that one thing that when you hear or you see, you feel like your internals are just cheering from the inside and you're like, I am weak. Yani, umeniweza kabsa. So uh, Afrobeat, Lingala, and Seben are just my number ones. Uh, I'm mentoring a group uh, that I started or uh, I was part of the committee, if I may use that, or the people who started it. Uh, actually, the leader of that group currently is doing dance and DJ, and he's so good. That is, he's called Griffin or DJ Kogi. Big ups to you. So, uh, after high school, after most of them uh, finished, they decided to, to just do it seriously and start a group. It's called Heart Club Dance Crew. You can just check their IG and their YouTube. They have amazing dances pale. So currently I'm doing professional dance that is uh, teaching kids, teaching youths, teaching adults, and uh, uh, maybe in events or, or anything that uh, requires expertise on dance. and. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing just doing it professionally and people appreciating your art and they are able to just appreciate you through monetary means. Does dance help you or bring people to Christ? Yes! Dance is a ministry. It's not just uh, something that just people have fun and just do for the sake of having fun. Dance is ministry in terms of how you fuse your moves and the music the music that you use or the, the the type of genre you dance if you have good music music with content music with a good message and then incorporate your moves parlay it can be upbeat it can be a slow song trust me with the guidance with uh with, 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 with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, trust me, you can do things that... By the time you talk a stage, you're like, what has happened? I didn't plan this, it just came. Uh, I think it's more of taking time to prepare. It's not just random, don't do it just abruptly. But prepare, take time, prepare. Just pray uh, for yourself. Get your music ready, get your moves ready. I believe the point in Yenimefika Sai is God 
through the guidance of the Holy Spirit can guide you, can give you ideas on what music you want to do, on what moves you want to put here. Three months ago, that is uh, last year, we did uh, a play that was more of a musical and we had a dance. And trust me guys, we have two guys who were like, I just want to join you guys, but most importantly, I want to give my life back to Christ. And currently, those two are now in a theater and film group that I am part of, and they're just doing amazing, amazing things. I have had people who are like, wow, okay, why do you do uh, dance in church? What inspired you? And I'm like, uh, this is a calling. Uh, this is something that you try to run away from uh, church. Unajaibu kuenda other routes, but mungu anakurudisha na kuambia, I want you to be here. I want you to use this and this to minister to people. So dance is a ministry. I've had so many people who have seen what we do and they're like i want to join you guys and through that they were able to be part of church they were able to give their lives back to christ and get born again and serve uh, in the different uh, departments that we uh, have in church so guys out there if you are a dancer if you are a choreographer and you're a christian choreographer and for the people who don't believe it's a ministry it is a ministry you can use whatever you have with the guidance of the holy spirit with good preparation and allowing god to use you you can minister to so many people through the platforms you have so i believe that dance is a ministry and it is a big ministry so underrated but it is a big ministry <laughs> First of all, dance is not an easy uh, work. It needs a lot of preparation in terms of physical and mental, in terms of creating moves. Um, I'm one person who creates things first by just thinking about them, just creating a picture first of what is, uh, what is the goal of all this? What do I want to achieve? What do I want to see at the end of the day? And uh, so for me, it's, it's, it's all about creating uh, more of mental and physical preparation, where you get to choose music, where you get to create the moves with the music, that is the physical part. And then uh, just having the main event where you have are you doing a lesson? Are you preparing for a wedding? Are you preparing for an event? It needs strength. It's, it needs more than strength. It, in Ita Jinema, it's not something you just wake up and just do. It is a learning process. You learn something new each and every day. Maybe one more thing is uh, exploits from guys. People are like, uh, you're doing dance for ministry, then just do it for ministry we don't need to pay you or anything uh, maybe you should volunteer or yeah I, I think it's just knowing your worth and just being disciplined and holding on to that because you'll have people who will take advantage of you and just uh, use your gift uh, to benefit themselves to create a name for themselves so you need to be ready for that, but also you need to know yourself and be firm about what you believe, what you do, and what you bring to the table. So for you out there, if you are doing dance, if you are doing spoken word, if you are doing poetry, if you are doing uh 
if you are a singer if you are a vocalist if you are an instrumentalist if you are whatever you do in the creative art you are in social media just do what you have to do you need to learn every day you need to dig deep you need to you need to be unique you need to appreciate and believe in yourself because we we are different we have different ways of uh, doing whatever we do and i believe god has put something great in you each and every person out there but more so i believe whatever you have is from god this is a gift from god this is the best gift you can ever have and you never know what uh, this gift will do for you uh, in the later future it might build that house it might be your next empire your next uh, label uh, depending on whatever field you are in so believe in whatever you do and work work you need to work hard for it you need to work smart you need to give your all if you believe this is what i want to do this is what god is calling me to do just do it and give your all i'm sure you have seen and we have seen so many people who have succeeded in whatever they do and they are doing great right now they have great companies that are thriving and it takes god it is just by god's grace so whatever you do just give it your all prepare pray about it just allow the holy spirit to guide to guide you to give you the ideas to give you the flow to give you uh the criteria of what you're supposed to do because it's possible it's just a matter of listening and just allow allow him to use you allow him to be part of your life acknowledging him and he will guide you in each each and everything so please enjoy whatever you do uh, i always tell people have fun enjoy yourselves laugh smile be crazy go crazy about it for the glory of god and there is nothing good like doing whatever you do and God is walking with you side by side. It is the most amazing thing to do. If you give your all for the glory of God, for the kingdom of God, trust me, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will always be by your side. He will provide for you. He will be your providence. Challenges will be there. Don't get me wrong. Challenges will be there but he will guide you all through he will give you the patience the strength and the grace to be able to fight through each and every day so to all my creative people out there do whatever you have to do but make sure you put god first and acknowledge that this is his doing and nothing more nobody else can should tell you anything else this is just god given so for, for my guys out there, for all my dancers, to all my music lovers, do whatever you have to do. Make sure it's good content. Make sure it glorifies God. Have fun. Be free. Be free and let, let God's will be done in your life. This should be my, my, my testimony to you out there. And may God just bless you and most just work hard work smart give it your all and god will bless you